Uh, the, uh, the rotation was a little messed up. Curry had a couple of fouls in the first. Uh, you started him in the second, obviously had guys out. But, but what can you say about that group that started the second quarter and then just Steph in that second quarter just kind of going off? Yeah, we got off to a good start in the second quarter after trailing um, you know, at the end of the, the first. So that was the key stretch. And it was a different group, but it was kind of fun to watch um, You know, with Steph and, and Sean and Andre out there. Uh, Sean and Andre are the guys we count on to settle the game down for us, and um, but they're usually out there with Clay. Uh, but I, I reversed it with that uh, foul trouble that Steph was on. So um, it was an interesting look, and obviously they got it got it going. Got a favorite Jordan Bell block from tonight? <laughs> they were all impressive. The, the transition one where he got the uh, left-handed block from behind. I can't remember who it was Valentine maybe. Uh, that was pretty impressive, but um, yeah, six blocks. He was um, yeah, explosive. How do you have to have him balance between the? I mean, great shot blocker, but you know he had jumped in the corner and fouled the guy. Just yeah. Him, hey, decide when to go for those. Well, I mean that's the whole thing, and that's the the reason he hasn't been active all the time. Is that uh, as explosive as he is, um, you know, he's still making a lot of rookie mistakes. So we're just trying to work with him and show him tape. Uh, Jaron Collins works with him and watches all the film with him, and um, there'll be lots to look at. A lot of good stuff and some mistakes as well, but that's the point of playing and uh, getting the experience. Steve, with Steph and Clay, you know, really taking control of this game offensively, does that give you confidence in being able to rest, you know, your starters and stars of this team moving forward? Uh, rest, rest who? Rest Draymond and whatnot. Uh, if, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you, well, we're, we we feel comfortable resting anybody. Um, we're we're in it for the long haul, and um, if Steph or Clay needs a rest, we'll give them a rest. We got a deep roster, and um, we play everybody, and everybody's got to stay ready. Um, Quinn Cook got some runs tonight. What, what went into that decision? How important is it for him to get you know running? Well, we like Quinn a lot. Um, good young player. He's been playing great um, down in Santa Cruz, and uh, this was a good night for him with uh, with KD out. Um, it was a good night for him to be here and to get some minutes. And I decided to put him in in the first quarter with the foul trouble to Steph just because our rotation was uh, messed up anyway. Um, and uh, rather than um, put Sean or Patrick in, I just decided to give Quinn those minutes in, in the meat of the game to see how he could do. And I thought he, he did a nice job. Steve, how nice is it to see both Clay and Steph really in a group with, with their shots from all different spots yeah. on the court. I liked uh, their patience. I thought one of the reasons they shot so well was they were more patient than they've been the last couple of games. I thought uh, the last couple of games they've both taken some you know, difficult challenge shots, and it felt like tonight they were um, getting better looks, looking for great shots instead of uh, challenged ones. Steve, on the topic of rest, uh, what, what are the challenges in terms of getting rest, giving guys rest on given nights, and also – uh, working through them on practice days, shoot around days, and so forth, and give me, making sure that the load on them is not too heavy. How do you handle? How do you do that and balance that? It's uh, it's conversations with the players themselves, with Chelsea, um, and then just kind of getting a feel. But it's amazing how uh, refreshing a day off can be, um, where you don't even have to emotionally prepare for a game. Um, that's why um, that's why I gave Draymond the night anyway, even though KD wasn't playing and. Um, it just felt like, you know, it was a good night to give give Draymond the t chance to just breathe and, and watch the game at, at his own leisure and enjoy it, and he'll come back recharged and refreshed tomorrow. Is it too early to know what KD's status will be for tomorrow? I would call him doubtful. I mean, it's it's uh, I don't we don't know for sure, but um, you know, we probably shouldn't have played him Wednesday. I thought he was fine. We thought he was fine, but then he got a little sore afterwards. And um, you know, it's uh, I'm sure the, the league is happy with us because we played him on their marquee game with Russ and all that stuff. And uh, but you know, he came out sore the next day, so they, uh, we shouldn't have played him. And, and so now we've got to be careful. And I don't think it's anything serious, but um, we've got to make sure he's right. So I would say he's doubtful.